The bridge over the Tetarev River was destroyed by the Russian army during its retreat from the Kyiv region a few days ago. To get to the Ivankiv settlement in Vyshorod district of Kyiv region, the military, volunteers and journalists have to pass under the destroyed bridge. Unfortunately, such a practice is now rather a norm for areas of the Kyiv region liberated from the Russians, because during the withdrawal from Ukraine the occupants tried to escape from the Ukrainian army and win time. Locals are glad Ivankiv is now free. People are not afraid to go out on the streets now, despite the fact that the stores are closed, there is no light and water in apartments. The residents of the settlement have united to help those who need aid the most, the pensioners, people with disabilities. For this purpose, they deployed a humanitarian center in the local palace of culture. Everybody can get food, the organizers distribute special numbers in a queue for humanitarian aid. Women write memos, some on their wrists, others on their hands. Your numbers are here, I've got them, I've got your notebooks. When we start, that means we'll start from the day you signed up. That's pretty much what we got during today. What's being delivered to you here? It's some salads, as I can see. It's ready-made food. We are going to give it to the military now. Here, you can look at it. It's bread, pasta already cooked. We won't distribute it to civilians. Now volunteers will come and distribute it to soldiers. We have military units here. We will distribute it to the military. We had been under occupation from the very first day, and only on the 1st of April, thanks to our military, we were liberated. Let's go and see what we have here. Here is some porridge, that's the stew. We divide everything like this by category. People who care also send food. Here are the sausages. Something else, let me see. Here is lard, that's what our volunteers thanked for very much. Let's continue. What's being loaded here now? We need to take out the trash. All right, now I'll send a man to the utility company to come again with a tractor. That's our household essentials. There's baby formula in there for the babies. Sweets over there, dry goods, everything. Next up we have clothes. We distribute them to people who became completely homeless. They came to us, we invite them here, they pick out their clothes individually. There are plaids and pillows. That's all they can take, whatever they need. We just let every family in and provide with everything we have. That is, when the Russians were here, all this was not in such a quantity. No, it was silent here, no, no, no. We didn't have anything here. They were only supporting themselves, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's not say we were sitting in basements, we had such difficult just early days. Then it got a little easier, and we got used to the shootings and bombings. People were walking in the streets, they allowed it to walk. But our stores did not work anymore, we had no light, no water, they cut everything off. The fire department, which provided at least some water through the wells, transported through the areas, they banned it, kicked them out. They said, either cooperate with us or get out. I'm sorry for that word. People left. They said we won't be traitors of our state, and they left. Now the firefighter is a bag. All this work begins. The well is starting to work. The pumping station began to work. And we're getting a little bit of water through the wells. As for our water station, just yesterday the workers were allowed on the territory. The deminers checked the territory before. This is the venue of the House of Culture. We have a gymnasium. Now we are going to reload there the part that the military just brought. Did the military bring this in? I can see a truck. Yes, these are the military. We don't know yet. Now I'll go out to them, who they are, what they are, where they come from. We don't know yet, but they brought in. We are reloading to another room. There is already not enough space. To free the space? We will accept and start packing. We will be aware of how much we have, how to pack a package. Basically, we have for the package bread, cereals. If there is oil, then oil, sugar, flour, potatoes, carrots, what is brought to us. We have nothing of our own here. There are people who are very needy. So we are very thankful to everyone who comes to us. Lutsk, Pervyaslyv, Bila Tserkva. Cookies, girls, cookies. Do you have cookies? Cookies, here they are. 
despite the fact that the local administrative service center was destroyed by the Russian occupying army and even a plaque written in Ukrainian was destroyed, people are confident that Ukraine will protect them and the needs of each and every one of these settlements will be fully satisfied by the government. Reported by Oleksii Matsuka, Pavlos Telmach, UATV News.